Bye, Kitty. Welcome to the vlog, guys. It's Tuesday, and today looks like a pretty straightforward day with nothing particularly exciting, except that for you football heads, today might be the day that Alexis Sanchez from Arsenal joins Man United. Woo! Or could be Man City, and then I'll look totally stupid saying this. We'll see. It's late in the afternoon, I'm almost done with work, but I have two more things to check out before. So they, re they demolished this building across mine for the longest time, and it's been under construction for the longest time. Today, the first store officially opened up. I'm gonna go check it out. So many people here on the first day. These are my favorite for family months. Got my onigiri. Family Mart is like the new convenience store crave in Malaysia. It's like the 7-Eleven from Japan. And it's got everything, including steamboat, which they call Oden. And they also have their famous range of matcha, matcha ice cream, matcha coffee, and matcha matcha. I still haven't figured out how to open this though. This might just be my first successful attempt. Woohoo! It's basically chicken teriyaki wrapped in rice and seaweed. Like a takeaway sushi. I'm here at KL Gateway Mall to meet a property agent for the properties that I've been burdened with to rent and sell. <sighs> adult stuff. This year, like I said yesterday, I'm swamped with adult stuff. And I'm supposed to be meeting the agent at a place called Tavista. Tavista? Tatasta? Oh, there we go. Tavista. Hi, happy is it? Yes, Hans. Hi. 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 It's nice to meet you. I just finished the session with the negotiator. He's a very nice guy. Seems sincere. I think I got my head around most of the stuff that's been bothering me. Should be able to get this sorted soon. Also, earlier when I said it was a burden, I didn't literally mean burden. Allow me to explain what I was just ranting about. So the first way to making money off a pro investment property is the most obvious which is through rental. Because obviously I don't own thousands and millions of dollars so I took a loan, right? That's number one. Number two is sale of property. Now this happens when the sale price exceeds the initial purchase price. Purchase price. And the difference between here and there is what you make as profit. Right? Now back to this one. This is the problem. At the, car at the time of speaking, the rental price that that place is getting versus the loan repayment is not great. It's not even half. So this is out the window. This looks like the likely option. But you also have to understand we hold two properties and the rental does not cover loan repayments. So assuming that happens, I'm forking out at least a thousand a month per property. Assuming we've got a tenant. Without a tenant, that's double. So in a year, you burn about 12k or more. So that's the dilemma right there. Rental, sale, sale, rental. The most likely option for us would be to sell one and rent one. Anyway, back to the vlog. So the next step is obviously for me to speak to Cheryl about it because she owns one of the unions and maybe do a bit more research of my own. 
then make a decision on what to do next. Hi! Hi! So I spoke to the agent. What's for dinner? Burger, today burger. Burger. Where's peaches? Alright, that's it guys. I'm gonna go enjoy dinner and play with my cat. Bye!